here we go. It's 420 by four minutes. So let me do that real quick. <laughs> Ooh. It's so pretty with the sunlight. Uh, let's lie down. We are, okay, we're gonna lie down. We're gonna close our eyes because we are gonna take a moment to quiet the head down and allowing for that connection between the, the head and the body to form or I guess to recognize it and be like, yeah, come forward. Let's, let's drop into our bodies. Let's drop into the space. We're gonna inhale through the nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. As you inhale, spread your lungs up and down, side to side, front and back. And exhale everything out, soften the rib cage. The back ribs melt into the mat. And you're gonna continue this breathing. Um, relax your legs. If for any reason they were engaged like mine. And let's set an intention for today's movement, the rest of your day, the next few days. And as we set this intention, I want you to start with your toes and you're gonna breathe that intention all the way up through your body to the top of your head. using the breath to focus on your intention, but also notice your whole body from the bones to the skin. <coughs> Inhale, bring the intention in close. Exhale, let it go. Let's bend the knees, plant the feet into the mat. Uh, feet can be farther away from the butt, arms down on the ground, palms facing the ground. We're gonna inhale, tuck the tailbone, pressing the lower back down into the mat. Exhale, peel your spine off the mat, and then we're gonna create a little arch between the lower spine and the mat. Relax the legs. Tuck, pressing the spine down into the mat. The pubic bone tilts up towards the face. And then we arch. So we're just moving real slow, using our breath. And just think about moving the spine. Let's do one more tuck here, one more arch. Oops, I did two. And then we're gonna plant our arms down and quiet the spine down. So the pubic bone is on the same plane as the hip bones. Your tailbone is heavy into the mat. There is gonna be some sort of curvature in the lower spine, not necessarily the back. I'm talking about the actual spine. We're, we're talking bones. And then, okay, so let's start with the belly button pulling towards the spine, so down, and then up towards the rib cage while keeping your pubic bone quiet. You can open up your eyes if you would like. You can take a look. Is your pubic bone on the same plane as the hip bones? Make a triangle with the fingertips and the thumbs. You can place the head down because we, we found it. Face the other way. 
That was a really cool twisty move I just did. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this is the right call. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so the belly button is pulling down and up. Now we're going to connect the lower ribs, engaging the upper abs. And then those lower ribs are gonna reach down towards the hips. The lower abs are gonna reach up towards the rib cage. And then I want you to find your side body. The energy is moving from your hips, up your waist, up your rib cage, past your armpits. Your hands can come down to the ground and you'll start to press the back of your arms, the triceps down, your shoulders down into the mat. And then the shoulders are also coming down your back. So we're creating space between the shoulders and the ears. Press your forearms down, press your palms down and your fingers down. So we have everything engaged except the legs, relax the hip flexors, but use your core. We're gonna tuck the tailbone using the core to move the spine. Exhale, find your arch. This time the arch is gonna maybe feel a bit smaller because we have those upper abs reaching down connecting the rib cage, inhale to tuck, exhale to arch. Shoulders away from the ears. Press the palms down, press the arms down. Just notice how this, it does feel different. And yet there are so many similarities from the first time we were talking and arching. Let's do one more. Then we're gonna quiet the hips down. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's, core still engage, we have not, Arms still pressing now. We're gonna lift the left leg up to tabletop, point the foot. So the knee is gonna to try to be in line with the hips. So the thigh is kind of farther away from our torso. And then the foot, as long as it's no lower than the knee, you feel it out. And then we lower toe ball heel, gently use the core, lift the right. and lower, lift the left, and lower, lift the right, yes, I got that correct, lower, lift the left, we're going to hold the lift left up, lift the right up, pull the belly button down, pull it up towards the rib cage. knees are more in line with the hips than they are towards the chest, feet, up in a diagonal. It can be a 90 degree angle with the knees. Press your shoulders down, opening up the collarbone. Hold it here. We're gonna tuck the tailbone, pressing the lower back into the mat without moving your legs. Holy shit. And then with control, we're going to bring the pelvis back to neutral, not an arch, you might be feeling this in your back. Um, that's totally cool. Inhale to tuck. Exhale, connect the rib cage to untuck the hips. So it's just the hips moving, not the, what are these? Legs. Let's do one more here. Oof. Okay, pelvis comes to neutral. And then we're gonna bring the knees in towards the chest. Wow, circle the knees away from each other. Circle the other way. Oh my God, I thought I just touched Jean-Luc, but it was my bag scare the shit out of me. Ooh. 
Ooh. All right, knees come back in towards the chest. Um, feet come down to the ground. If you didn't do the other way, it's fine, whatever. Um, that's the vibe today. Uh, okay, so hands are down on the ground. We're gonna lift the head, neck and shoulders up. So with the tips of the shoulder blades, eyes on the core, belly button is pulling down. Hip flexors are not engaged. You can walk those feet away from the butt. Hands on the ground. Pull the belly button down and find your side body, reach it in towards your midline. So it's not just moving up and down. It's gonna move inward to lift you up a little bit higher and lower down. Lifting up and lower, lifting up and lower. Use your breath. Hips stay silent. You can always come into a tucked or a neutral. And if your head is feeling heavy as fuck, just keep it down. You can keep engaging your core. Let's do one more and we're gonna stay up. Lift your arms up to align them with the ears. I know, stay up, stay up. Use your side body. Lower the arms down and lower the head down. Drop your chin side to side. We're gonna walk the feet closer to the butt, toes and knees pointing forward in line with the hips. Um, <clears throat> That direction of the knees and the toes will decide how close your heels come to your butt. So it will look different for all of us. Okay, press the arms down, inhale, tuck your tailbone, use your core to do it. And then you're gonna push through your heels and lift your spine off so you're in a butt up. The shoulders are broad against the ground. Press your arms, press your fingertips against the ground. And now shift your knees forward two inches, yeah. High legs, especially your hamstrings, what's up? We're pushing through the heels, wiggle the toes, the hamstrings lifting, the ass is squeezed. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower it down, one bone at a time. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, lift it up. What's coming up in your legs? Are we feeling maybe a little stretch too in those hamstrings? Inhale, exhale to lower down. Really articulate through the spine. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, lift it up. Those knees are reaching forward. And I just want you to also notice like from your kneecap to your sternum, to your rib cage, we've got this long diagonal. I think it's not just to the sternum, but it's like to the head. Okay, inhale, exhale to lower down. Inhale, tuck, exhale, lift. We're gonna drop into the, you're gonna drop the right hip. So the left hip stays up, the left butt cheek is very lifted. Push through your right heel to lift your right hip, your right butt cheek back up. And then you're gonna do that to the left side. It drops and then you lift. Drop the right, lift, left, lift. You're gonna keep doing this. Find your pace. Uh, moving slow is hard as fuck, if you needed a reminder. Oof. All right, do one more on each side. Butt stays lifted, lift your heels up, okay. The, he the hips did not move. 
but the heels lifted up <laughs> and lower the heels down, hips stay lifted. Lift them up and lower, lift them up and lower. So the majority of the weight is on the ball of the foot underneath the first two toes. Use your arms. Keep your heels lifted. I want you to pulse your knees out, bring them back, pulse them out, bring them back. Okay, pause, take an inhale, exhale, slowly lower your spine down. Keep your heels lifted, articulate through the spine. Once the tailbone is down, the heels can come down. Ooh, oh, legs. Okay, elongate the legs. That was like my left inner thigh. Okay, so legs are long. Let's give them a shake. Maybe the whole body is shake. Okay, lift your arms up. The palms are facing forward. Your hand is in line with your shoulder, your shoulders away from the ears. Flex your feet, dig your heels down. Nice little stretch. Inhale, head, neck, and shoulders come up. Now, Pull the belly button towards the spine, up towards the rib cage. Dig your heels down and engage your arms to scoop yourself up one bone at a time. Slowly, again, because it's hard as fuck. And then we're gonna come into a deep C curve. First time we're maybe here for the day, um, we can grow into the depth of the C. But regardless, we are rounded. So the belly button's pulling back, it's pulling up. Shoulders away from the ears, the hands. Yes, you guessed it, still in line with the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower it down. Inhale, head, neck, and shoulders. I like, can't seem to position myself center on this mat right now. And then exhale. Slowly coming up into the deep C curve, flex your feet, reach the fingertips forward, let the head be heavy, looking back behind you, inhale, exhale to slowly lower down. Head, neck, and shoulders, slowly coming up. So we're not trying to jolt our way or like, like I, get, I don't know how else to say it, jolt our way up. We're trying to make it a smooth lift. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower down. And coming up, ooh, deep C curve. And lower down. Okay, once you're down, take a moment, find your arms, find your legs, find your core, because we're gonna slowly come up for eight, seven, six, five. Oh, what am I on for? <laughs> Three, two, and one. Inhale, exhale, stack your spine up to a seated position. Um, so tall. <sighs> 
keep let's keep going find those arms i know they're engaged we're going to hinge back just a few inches so it's a flat back the chest is lifted the gaze is lifted the chin is lifted the belly button is pulling back towards the spine up towards the rib cage you're lengthening through the tailbone so it's reaching down to the ground and we're going to twist okay so wait hold on the feet are still flex cool heels down twist to the right i want you to reach your right finger uh, let me try that again you're going to reach your left fingertips forward so they come in line with the right fingertips the belly button is pulling towards the spine. That left side body is, it's doing shit. The rib, the left rib cage is reaching over towards the right, shoulders away from the ears. We still have this hinged flat back. It does not need to be low. Come back to center. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. A long flat back, hinged back. We reach the right finger out. Yeah, now we're doing the right fingertips forwards. They come in line with the left. That right rib cage, that right side body, it's twisting. Keep the chest lifted, the gaze lifted. Those lower abs. Oh boy, come back to center. And to the right. This time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Just find that. and center to the left. Static movement. Everything should pretty much be on fire. And we come back to center. This time we're gonna to twist to the right. We're gonna let our right arm come all the way back behind us and our left is gonna bend and the palm is gonna to come to the chest. We're looking back behind us. We're still in a hinge flat back. And then we're gonna come through center, the palms touch. And you can almost like draw the right fingertips along the left arm as we twist to the left. And then we have the right hand on the chest. Oh my God, I thought it was an animal, but it was just a leaf and then there was a statue. Oh. Belly button pulling towards the spine. Fingertips reaching back and we come back to center. Palms long and arms long in front of you. Palms can touch and then we draw the left fingertips along. <laughs> that was an animal. That sounded like a hound. Shoulders away from the ears. Can we hinge and twist? We come back to center. I know. And we come back to the left. And then we come back to center. We're gonna lift our torso up and our arms up. Ooh, flat back folding over. So we have flat back, I guess, folding forward is a better descriptor. Don't worry about how low. I want us to find this flat back. The feet are flexed, back of the knees pressing into the ground, the tops of the thighs reaching towards the ground. We're on the fingertips, heart forward, butt back. We're on the fingertips. <clears throat> take an inhale exhale can we come a little deeper into this flat back tops of the thighs reaching down inhale exhale round the spine down Ooh, let your head hang Inhale, exhale, 
slowly stack it up. Oh. I'm going to do this. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we'll do. Okay. So we're going to bend the knees, plant the feet onto the ground. And you're going to move your ass out of the way. So we're on those sit bones. Your heels are touching. The toes are apart. Our hands coming around our legs. So our hands, our arms are coming around our legs. And then our hands come to the shins. Okay. Sit up tall. So really we're pushing the chest forward, pulling, we're pushing the back body forward while we draw the front body back. Core, all, everything core, shoulders down away from the ears. Do you feel maybe a little bit taller? We're gonna start to pull the belly button further past our spine back to whatever is behind you. And so we go from the sit bones to our tailbone. Now we're going to start with the tailbone. We bring the sit bones back to the ground, and then we stack the spine up tall again. And then we pull the belly button back behind the spine into that rounded. So the arms are going to lengthen maybe a little bit. We're we're rounding like from the from the head to the tailbone and then we're going to bring the sit bones back and then stack the spine up top of the head reaches up to the sky let's just round back one more time and maybe we're not going super far back we're going to come to like a middle space because now we're going to lift our legs off the ground we're doing a little balance yes So we can stay here or we can bring the legs together into a tabletop, pull the belly button to the spine up to the rib cage. We, have, we do have like a slight roundness, but I want you to bring that chest forward now. Belly button pulls down, back towards the spine, up towards the rib cage. Hands can be reaching up like in a diagonal. They can be holding the ankles. We have options, shoulders away from the ears. That's all that matters. Still balancing. You can always come back to that first position with our knees wide, feet down. And you can also always like, if you come out of it for a moment, like come out of it, come back when you're ready. Okay. This, we are going to grab onto our legs. We're going to bring the legs hip distance apart. And then we can either stay here. Big ass bird flying up there right now. And then we're going to extend the legs into a V if you want. So we're holding onto the ankles, drawing the legs towards the chest, the chest towards the legs, trying to straighten through the knees. You can always keep them bent. You can... Honestly, we're just trying to balance right now. <sighs> and just like notice what's going on. Um, trying to let go of the negativity because honestly, it just is what it is right now, today at this moment. Just what our bodies are doing. <sighs> And we're so glad we can at least do what we can do. Ugh. Maybe it even creates, maybe, maybe the things that you notice will only create something proactive. Like I should go see someone about my arm. <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna slowly start coming out of this balance. So if your legs are straight, they can start to bend, they can come back together into the tabletop. We can bring the feet down towards the ground, knees wide, but we're still balancing. And just so crazy that just the way we move our arms and our legs can change so much in our core. All right, bring those feet down, soles of the feet together, knees wide. I want a tall spine, get really, really long. We inhale, flat back forward, press your elbows into your knees. Round the spine down. Get heavy here. Inhale. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Press into those knees. Inhale. Exhale. In <coughs> inhale. Exhale, slowly stack your spine up. Let's come to our bellies real quick. Oh, but like also take your time. <laughs> okay, hands underneath the shoulder caps. We're just gonna lift up into a little stretch, pulling the belly button up towards the spine, lifting the chest, the head, elbows are facing back, feet like hip distance apart and lower down. Inhale, lift. And lower down. Inhale, lift. And lower down. Walk your hands forward so they're um, framing your face, your head, I should say. And then we're going to be on the fingertips. We're going to peel the spine, tucking the tailbone. And then we peel the lower back off the mat. The head is going to be the very last thing to arrive. And we're going into like a king cobra. Big stretch. Lifting the chest as high up, the gaze up. You want to circle your head side to side. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower down. We're gonna push back into child's pose. Knees wide, feet together, arms long in front. Let the butt be heavy. Like that might like you can literally like shift your body back a little bit, maybe even rounding the spine a bit more. Inhale. Exhale, slowly stack it up. Eyes closed. Take a moment. Thank your core. Thank the rest of you. You showed up. You spent time with yourself. Thank you for joining me always, duh, forever. Yeah, bitch, we did it. I told you it was going to be a short one and a core one. Oh.